Hey guys, it's Anything Goes Gaming here, bringing you a little, a little, a little quick video here about what the current best farming method that I know of currently in Destiny 2 is. So right now we are on a Nessus, so obviously you have to be far enough in the story to do this. I'd recommend beating the story first before you participate in this farming event, just because it is going to help you out some in a few different ways. So what you're going to do is you're going to load into the fast travel point of Exodus Black. And what you're going to do is, it's easiest just to load up the Sparrow. Go straight, and then um, after this little clip, you just want to head to the right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn around and go into this little valley-esque thing. Go past the shanks, because no one really cares about them. Uh, go through the winding cave. And we're going to come across this little cave right here, which enemies are starting to spawn in. I believe someone was just in here before me. Uh, we're going to take them out real quick, just for demonstration purposes, just to make it easier to talk about. If I could kill this Minotaur, geez. Okay. There's that last goblin. Okay. So, this is actually going to be the room where the chest spawns. It has a few different locations where it can spawn. It can spawn up there. It can spawn right in front of this rock right here. Off to the side. In a little cave that's up here. So, right back there. And right over here in this dark little cave which actually doesn't seem to be here right now. I believe that's because the guy that was in here before me looted it and it might have disappeared, or I might just miss it. Um, it's also a chance of it spawning right here after you grab that regional loot chest. Um, but it's going to be up here and it's going to be kind of nipped away, but you'll still be able to get it. But what we're going to want to do is, hopefully it actually spawns this time, so you're going to go through the portal, jump up, summon your sparrow as fast as you can, and what you want to do is you just want to keep going until you hit the chamber of the sky and you want to go past this checkpoint actually come off to the side right here and you jump up if you can do it while your sparrow is doing it, that's great because it's going to keep the momentum from your sparrow you're going to want to run past all the enemies jump up onto this little ledge that's over here and once again you're just running past the enemies and there's going to be a teleporter off up to your right hand side and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and jump up jump through that and it's actually going to teleport you in the direction that you need to head to. So this is actually a little cave that we came from. So what you're going to do is come back through and go back through the teleporter in which you came. So we're just going to do that real quick. And it's going to bring you back into Exodus Black. So it's not in that first location. It's not in the second location. Let's check up here real quick. It's not there in this little cave. And it's actually here in this little cave. So, there's actually a few different things that you can get from this. Uh, shaders, tokens, glimmer. Um, you get a little bit of experience each time, which is nice as well. You also have the chance of getting legendary engrams. One nice thing, too, about this is if you hurry, there's a possibility that if you get to this chamber of the sky real quick, and then you make a quick turnaround, that you'll be able to loot the same chest twice, which is really nice because this makes it a little bit faster. Once again, just jump off the sparrow in the air. It keeps up your uh, momentum so then turn around come right back to where the chest was and like i said there's a possibility of you being able to loot a second time so like you like you saw there i got another nessus token so what i want to do is go ahead and jump up on go back through the teleporter and i'll just do this one last time to show you guys summon the sparrow as soon as you can if it wants to actually spawn that'd be great and you want to go through the cavern after the cavern take a left because that's the only way you can go go straight take a right and jump up onto this little ledge right here after that you just want to continue going straight jump over the enemies because you're not going to need them jump over the little gap onto the next ledge go up the stairs and off to the right there's going to be a little teleporter in the top right corner you're going to jump this go through it keep going straight because it's going to spawn you out where you need to be which is really nice you don't have to turn around you don't have to get confused it's just pretty much a straight shot go through and we'll get to that teleporter here in just a second I typically ignore the enemies because it's just easier to do so it makes the whole process faster that way jump up chest isn't there chest isn't oh chest isn't dead in front of us so then it should be off to, into this little cave or off to the other location which it's not there so then let's check this other little cave real quick it might be I've seen it spawn right in front of us I've seen it spawn off to this little area so it's not in here let's check and see if I missed it which I have done multiple times before 
Oh. Don't see it here. Don't see it next to the regional loot chest. Oh. I'm just checking this cave one more time. Oh, it's in this cave. I missed it. Oopsie, that's my fault. Okay. It's like that. You just see me getting Nessus tokens. And the nice thing about this is, is that if you get enough Nessus tokens, what you can do is you can go ahead and come right out of this. If I have the enemies don't kill me, that is. Come out of this little cave that we're doing this farm in. Like I said, I really feel like this is the best farming method that is currently available. And if you're fast enough, you're able to hit the same chest twice, which is even better. And then, if you go up and you just go straight, let's spawn our sparrow. Go straight. Here is actually where failsafe is. And there's also a public event. So if you do this for long enough, you can rally the flag before you start. It actually starts in 8 seconds. So you can farm this public event for long enough and end up doing public events. Or you can do the chest for long enough, end up doing public events, which is just a fantastic thing all together. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope, you get, I hope it helps you guys. Hope it helps you get some Nessus token, some new gear, and public events. Hopefully it gets you some exotics and the legendary.